All right, welcome back to Stormwork Basics Module Engine Tutorial. This is going to be part seven. Um, I started doing a build series where uh, for a career game mode, and so I put this microcontroller into a boat for the series, and I noticed not necessarily an error, but something that I hadn't gone through yet. So um, let me quickly, we'll spawn it in, we'll run up the engine, and I'll show you what we need to do to fix that. And then I will repost the updated... Um, the updated creation on the workshop along with this video. So um, we'll press six, start the engine. Uh, let's see. All right, so we're up and running here. Um, we're having issues here where um, the idle isn't working correctly. Um, so what, you know, in the boat I had it in, I had a much bigger engine, so it was actually really revving up super high. Um, this one, it's not revving up high enough, so let's change some numbers around here. Um, so, so really quick, so let's go back over how this functions, how this works. So on the seat, if you press the 1 key, it starts to advance the throttle. It moves this up-down counter up, so it starts at 0, it will go up to a maximum of 15, it will go down to a maximum of negative 8. Negative 8 is going to be your reverse, so you go 8 RPS in reverse, 15 forwards maximum. 2 reduces your throttle three idles. Now I'm having an idle issue and the reason is this information sending let's say I'm at 15. It's sending a 15 across to the numerical switch box through here. It's then sending it to the pit. It says hey I want 15 we're at whatever RPS. This clamp is too high so it's gonna set us a runaway height. Um, but I don't have a clamp here to tell us what the minimum RPS is and the maximum. So we're going to put that in and we're going to work on this clamp. So this clamp here will make a zero. We're not going to clamp um, a minimum. We're not going to set our idle from here. We're going to set our idle from here. So let's go ahead and we'll copy this clamp. Control C, Control V. Now I want my minimum RPS, I want my idle to be 3 RPS. 2.5 uh, is when the engine starts. So any lower than 2.5, the engine's going to need to restart. You're going to hear the starter again. It'll click every once in a while. So 3 will hopefully keep us above that so we don't get clicking. 15 is going to be our maximum RPS. So that's going to make it so that we can only go to a minimum of 3 RPS and a maximum of 15 RPS. So we're going to go ahead and take the numerical switch box. We'll connect that there. We'll connect that to our PID there. And you know, we can leave it like this. I'll make it like this so it's easier to see, so you're not so I'm not blocking it. All right, we'll update that and we'll spawn this, and this should give us a more stable idle. All right, so as you can see, we're about uh, we're hanging around three RPS here. That pit should automatically control it and make sure that it's um, has a nice idle. Let's start to increase. As you can see, prop starts to turn. We'll press 3 for idle. Alright, now we can bring it into reverse. Now it's Again, that starter will go just because it's fighting that prop going the wrong direction. All right, the water will help that prop stop. All right, now in reverse, we'll hit three to idle again. And it idles. Now, if you notice, it's if the idle seems a little low, it's right above that start. We can uh, change that. So on this engine, you know, if we had a... Um, if we had a fly weight, that might help, but let's just change this. Let's make this four. So on this um, small motor, we're going to idle at four. So let's update that. Let's try that, see if that gets us a little bit closer away so we don't have that starter going off so often. Okay, we're started. Let's look at it. Now, as you can see, we're around four RPS. Yeah. So four is a, good, is a good idle speed for this small motor. You know, the boat that I'm doing in the career um, playthrough, it's, um, you know, they're eight cylinders. So they're much bigger. They have more moving momentum. All right, we'll idle it. Start to reduce it into reverse. You'll hear it do some starting because it's trying to fight that prop going reverse. All 
All right, and there we go in reverse. So that sets our idle. So we'll go through really quickly again what we did here was um, I was trying to set the idle over here and it was much better to set it over here. So essentially we're telling this PID I want my RPS range to be between 4 RPS, my idle, and 15 is my maximum RPS. All right, thank you for watching.